वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो इट्स वेरी फ्रेश फ्रेश मॉर्निंग माई डे चिल्ड्रेन आर यू रेडी टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक टूडे Yes, I think everybody is ready now. Okay, shall we start? Okay, good. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. But before moving towards our topic, let's start our day with a prayer. Okay, today we are going to say Gayatri Mantra in prayer. So, dear children, just join your hands, close your eyes, and say Gayatri Mantra. Along with me, come on, close your eyes, everybody. Say Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitar Varinam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yo Na Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha प्रचोदया so children open your eyes yes now be ready for today's lecture now if i am telling you i am going to teach you a new subject or if i say i am going to teach you a new lesson and if i say i am going to teach you the topic what is the difference between in these two a new lesson and the topic yes a uh, that means any new thing a new subject a new thing that could be anything but if i'm telling you the topic is this that means i'm talking about a particular topic which i can't teach anything else okay that is a particular topic so today we are going to learn we are going to see english grammar our today's topic is the article okay okay now see or tell me what do you know about the article first see what are the types of article then we'll move towards the article yes we all know that we have three types of article actually it is two type a and and it comes in one category and the it is the second type here see this is a and and our third topic is third article is the okay a and the this is three articles but this two article a and and it comes in one category and the is different one okay now see if i'll say first tell me what is this are you able to see children what is it yes it's a aeroplane it's an aeroplane okay and what is this we all travel in it yes 
it moves on rail track. Yes, it's a train. Very good. Now you say why I used a train and an aeroplane. So today we are going to see what is the difference between A and N. And why we use the word the. Okay. So to explain this, I'm going to share one PPT along with you. Just see that PPT carefully. Okay. Yes, welcome back children. In our new academic year, that is 2021 and 22. This is our new academic year. Okay. In our Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation Statewide Online Education. At present, standard third, subject is English grammar, and our today's topic is the articles. Many times we think, what is the meaning of articles? Okay. <clears throat> we have three types of article. A, and, and the third one is the. A and the are three articles, which we are going to see today. We all have learned last year also. So today we are going to just have a revision of it. So the concept will become more clear, okay? Now just revise it. Read this. Article is an adjective. It can modify noun. You all know what are nouns. What are the types of nouns. But the word which we use to modify noun, that is article. English has two articles, that is the, a and an. We say it is three, but if we'll see according to the categories, the is different and a and an is different. A and an are same. We can also call the a definite article. Yes, now we will see what is the difference between these two. The is an definite article. It means that the is used to refer specific or particular noun. Just see these words, children, specific and particular. That means the you cannot use for anything. It is for a specific person, specific place, okay? Or a specific or particular noun. And a and an as indefinite articles. That means it doesn't have any particular noun where you use a and n. You can use a and n on, with many nouns. Is used to modify noun specific or non-particular noun. Non-specific non -specific or non-particular noun. Okay? See, just now we read that the is used to refer a specific or particular noun. You cannot use the with any noun. But a and an can be used to modify non-specific or non-particular noun. Now, what is this particular and non-particular? Let's move ahead and see what is particular and what is non-particular. See here. The article. Now we learn about A and the, and all these three things come in article. 
So first try to understand what is article. An article comes before a noun in a sentence and sometimes shows if the noun refers to a specific or general person, place or thing. That means the word which we use to write or to speak a sentence, that becomes an article, which we use in a sentence before a noun, that becomes article. See its examples. In general, what is given? A dog. Here the word dog is a noun. And we had used a before that dog. That is an article. A dog, a farm, an apple, an octopus. Children, can you see anything common between apple and octopus? Yes, we will see afterwards. We will see in this slide only what is the common between an apple and an octopus. Why we use and why not a why not i say a apple why it is an apple see the specific that means particular here it is written a dog you can say a sentence a dog is barking but if i said the dog that means it is about a particular dog not for any dog that could be anybody's pet dog that could be any particular dog. The farm. The apple. The octopus. Not common for all octopus, but it is the octopus. See here. Why I said the. The word. What is the meaning of the? The article. T-H-E. The. The is used when a singular noun, singular means single, not the plural form. Plural means many, singular means one. The is used when a singular noun is used to represent a class or group of animals where only one person or only one thing is representing the whole group. Then we use the word a, uh, the article the. Okay, now see here. The fox is a clever animal. Here fox is a noun. We used article the. Why? Because here it is a specific fox animal who is representing the kind of animals. Which kind of animals? Clever animals. Not any animals, clever animals. He is representing a group of clever animals. Who is representing? The fox. If I will say a fox is a fox is a clever animal. A fox, that means it could be any fox. Here it is written the fox. The fox means. The fox is an animal who is representing a group of animals who are very clever. It is used with the names of rivers, seas, oceans, group of islands and mountain range. As the Atlantic, the Atlantic is an ocean. The Atlantic Ocean, it is given name Atlantic. It is a particular name of an ocean. So we have used article the. Okay. The Himalayas. All mountains are not Himalaya. We have a specific particular name for a mountain. The Himalayas. Here. Indefinite article. The was definite. That means we used with a particular noun. Here it is indefinite. A is used before a word beginning 
with a consonant sound. Yes, children. Now tell me what is consonant? That also we are going to see what is consonant. A is used with a consonant sound. It is used with the word which gives the voice of consonant. For example, a girl, a horse, a useful book. Here G, H and U are consonant. So we used article a, a girl, a horse, a useful book. Fine. Now see, the next one is an. Where we use an? An is a word. An is used before a word beginning with a vowel sound. Yes. A was used before a consonant. Here an was used before a vowel. Children, try to understand what I'm saying. The differences. A. A is used before a consonant word. And an is used before a vowel word. For example, an egg. An orange. An R. An honest man. And so on. Now see, in A, it is a horse, but here an honest man. Both the spellings starts with letter H, but here a horse, here an honest. Why it is so different? Just listen carefully what I'm pronouncing. A horse, an honest, an R. Here yeah, it is H O U R. It starts with the letter H. But see the pronunciation. An R. Got it? Let's see in more detail. Okay? Look here. As you all are aware that there are five vowels. And what are they? Yes. A E I O U. These are our five vowels. Just now I said, when we use these vowels, any word begins with these vowels, we use an word. In the last slide, we saw an apple. Okay? A book. Is here B written? No. Vowel A is written. So it was an apple. So the word which begins with A, E, I, O, U, R, we use an before these words. Now, see here, A, E, I, O, U. The words begin with A, E, I, O, U, we use article and before that word and here we have total 21 consonants just observe this picture observe this picture a e i o u are written with light yellow color why because these are vowels and which is given that red border are consonants we have total 21 consonants. And any word which begins with this consonant, we write a before that word. See here, the first consonant is B. I'll say a bag, a book, a basket, okay? A bat, a ball. Any word with begin with the letter B or begin with any consonant, we call it, we write a before that word. C, you can say cat. And cat, it's wrong. 
if you'll say a cat a cat is on a mat here cat is a noun begins with the letter c so i said a cat sat on a mat 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 starts with the letter m m is a consonant so i said on a mat okay now let's move ahead see here a and an is over now let's move towards the before also we saw that the is called a definite article why because it points out to some particular person or thing you can say some particular place also the is used for a specific one particular person things and place we can't use the for anything any common thing that is why the is called the definite article a and an is an indefinite article but the is called the definite article because we use the article to show some particular person or a particular thing or a specific place here i can't sit the chair sit on the chair if i'll say sit on the chair that means i'm showing a particular chair that you can't sit anywhere else but you have to sit on this chair then only i'll use the otherwise i'll say this is a chair it could be any chair among different chairs i'll point out one chair this is a chair if i have to use that chair for a particular reason then only i'll use article the here can you see the picture what image it is yes it is a book to any book we'll say a book but if you talk about any particular book for example if i'll say the ramayana a book the bhagavad gita that book is a specific book then only i'll use article the otherwise it is a book and b is a consonant not a vowel see here what is it yes it is a tree we use consonant consonant t that is tree so i used article a before that word yes here what is it it's an egg e e is an vowel a e i o u these are five vowels e egg starts with the letter e double g egg so it is written an egg an apple just now we saw that vowels a e i o u so apple starts with a and whenever we pronounce that is a a apple that is an apple an orange why i have not say a orange yes o is a vowel that is why it is written an orange see here a horse in example before we saw that a horse was there a horse oh yes an honest boy here also it is h honest here it is h but here i have used a and here an why 
because whenever we pronounce on as the h become silent and wherever the consonants become silent we use article an it's an honest boy not honest the real pronunciation the correct pronunciation it's honest okay o oh, honest and honest boy and that was a horse h h honest no honest a horse and honest here it is said an elephant but now we are going to see an example where the word will start with e but the article before that is a here it is an elephant a european nation if you say in a sentence a european why this european also starts with the word alphabet e spelling is e u r o p e a n it begins with e an elephant also begins with e but before elephant we put an and before european i have written a why because elephant pronunciation is elephant that is vowel here european it is e u y double o u european a university european university see the pronunciation here u if you write y double o u u that is quite similar with universities u university in umbrella we say a umbrella umbrella also begins with the letter u university also begins with letter u but it is u y double o if you pronounce it will look quite similar with y double o that is university so it is a it is an umbrella now here see the pronunciation of u u is a vowel and an umbrella um here is the difference why we said many vowels with a see the vowels a e i o u we use an with these vowels with any word which begins with the a e i o u we use article an but the consonant which sounds like a e i o u we use an with that consonant also a e i o u example is given honest it is consonant h is consonant but here h becomes silence we pronounce is honest and o is an vowel so we write an before that consonant and the other like b c d g h which are consonant we use a a hat a hat here the it is a very particular place a particular mountain the himalaya if you write about ranges the himalayan range yet is about that mountain the himalaya the united states of america you can't say a united states it is the about a particular state of a country 
not of any country. It is about America. The United States of America. Yes. Now let's see what mistakes we do many times. A is used when the next word begins with a consonant sound. Consonant that means accepting vowels by leaving vowels. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, etc., etc., and many more. We have total 21 consonants. Here, B, book, a book. That is correct. If you'll say and book, it is wrong. A table. This is a table. Then it is correct. This is and table. Sorry, it is wrong. This is a clock. And clock. And clock is wrong word, but if you're using article A before clock, then only it is correct. A clock. Now, the another indefinite article is and. The first one is a, second is and. This both comes in the category of indefinite articles. And is used when the next word begins with a vowel sound. Any words, any noun which begins with a vowel sound, that is five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. We put and before that word. For example, an apple, an elephant, an umbrella. These three words are correct. But if we'll say, a apple, a elephant, a umbrella, it will be considered wrong. We can't say a apple because apple begins with A, which is a vowel sound. Okay, children? Now let's move towards our next article that is the. Here, A and N is indefinite article. Now, the is definite article. Look here. The definite article. We use the with. Now see the conditions and situation where we use the article. Something that is unique or there is only one. Okay. It can't be many. It should be only one. The sun. We have only one sun. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. We have only one sun, one moon. That is why it is said the sun, the moon, the internet. In a house, if we have internet connection, it is only one. The internet. Second time, you talk about the same noun. I bought a shirt. The shirt is red. That means you brought a shirt. That could be any shirt which you brought. But what is specific about that shirt? That that shirt is has some color. That shirt is red. Red is a specific color of that shirt. So, it is written the directions, cardinal points, the west, the east, the north, the south. Here we have our directions. East is only one direction. You can't find east in every direction can't be east. We have east a particular direction where sun rises. And opposite of east is west. West can't be your left side or right side. Opposite of east is west. So that is the west direction. North towards our 
left hand side south okay towards our right hand side understood children yes i hope you understood the articles that is definite article and indefinite article now let's see it is our assignment time look here here we have 20 words where you have to write a or an now while reading these words always keep your pronunciation in your mind then only you will get the correct answer whether it is a or an okay you have to complete it in your note Fine. Okay. Now, children, thank you everybody for being with me. And now, let's. I'm going to show you some examples where we use a and an. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. Now let's see children. Look here. Just now we saw, saw that what is definite article and what is indefinite articles. If I'll show you this grapes, what I'll write? A grapes or an grapes. It is a bunch of grapes. A. We'll use article a. Here, I'm going to write it, a bunch. Okay? Tell me the article which we used before this. What is it? First tell me what is this, children? Are you able to see it clearly? See, it is an apple or a mango or orange. What is it? Yes, Mayuri, very good. It's an orange. So what I'll write? No, it is not ball. It is orange. It's a fruit. Yes, pizza, very good. Now say what I write? An orange or a orange? Yes, an orange. Very good. See now, here yeah, I'm going to write an orange. An orange. Very good, Anjit. Very good. Very good, Shivani. Great. Now see. What is it? See this animal. Yes, elephant. So I'm going to write where in A or N. Where should I write this? A elephant or an elephant? Yes, Suhana, very good beta. It is an elephant. An elephant. Good. Very good. Ooh, wow. See, king of jungle. Who is he? He's the king of jungle. Oh, lion. Very good, Shivani. Great. It's a lion. Now, it's an lion or a lion? Now, where should I write it? Here, in A's column or Anne's column? Yes, I used Twitter. Very good. It's a lion. Yes, Shakshi. Great. I'm going to write here a lion. L I O N. Very good. Now, see. What is it? See to it. 
Yes, it's a cow. So, in which column it is going to come? A cow or an cow? A cow. Yes, Ayush. Very good. A cow. Great. Great children. Now, what is it? We use in rainy season. What is it? See this. What is this? Umbrella. Good. Now this will come in A column or N column. Just pronounce umbrella. Umbrella ko pronounce karo, you will get the idea. Yes, you. That is umbrella. It is umbrella. An umbrella. Very good, children. Very good. And what is it? See this. What should I write with this? What is this? First tell me what is this? Yes, egg. Yes, Rohit. Very good. Egg. Yes, Aro. Now it is a egg or an egg. Good. It is an egg. An e double G egg. Good, good children, good. And what is this? We put pen, pencils in this box. What is it? Yes, compost box. Good children, it's a compost box. So it is an compost box or a compost box. Just now I said also. Yes, a compost box. It will come in column A. Very good. What is this? What is this? Bottle. So it is an bottle or it is a bottle. Yes, Prince. Very good, Peter. It is a bottle. This will come in A scholar. Okay. Now see. I have a book. Particular book. This is not any book. This is a grammar book. So what I'll write? A book or the book. Yes, if it is any book, I'll write A. But if I'm using a particular word, the grammar book, yes, then it will come the grammar book. The grammar book. Okay? And now you give me some examples where I use article the. If it is any book, then I can write a book. Okay, but if it is a particular book, I'll use the. Okay, now you give me some example about the. Where should I write the? Yes. See, I'm going to rub it and then again I'll write the. Sun and few more examples of the storybook. Give any story name, reverse name the Ganga, the Ganga River. Very good. The moon, great. Just now we saw in our examples, it is the moon. Very good. The Ganga River, the moon, the sun. Come on, say a few more. Tell me some more examples. Uh, the moon I have written here. Yes. 
the lion king the king yeah the king good uh an umbrella is good but i want example of the no the apple is wrong answer apple starts with a that is vowel before apple we write an i need example of the yes the arabian sea i a and arabian sea yes the big ocean the arabian sea yes i have written the arabian sea the india igloo yes bay of bengal yes good children the bank particular name in the bank now give me example of an Yes, come on, be first. The bird. Yes, very good. But now I need the example of an. Yes, an apple. It's very common. Now say something else. Let's try an apple. And more. An orange. Yes, good. No, not an ball. If I write an ball, this is wrong. Here it is B. It's a consonant. An igloo. Yes, very good. An igloo. An ice cream. Ice or ice cream, both are correct. Yes, very good, children. You all are great, really. An owl. An owl. Family. Now, give example of a. An egg. Very good. But now I need the example of a. give me a's example where we write a a tree good a tree yes children that's why you must always attentive towards your lectures a bird a bat very good a bat you can say a dog a cow very good what is this what is this we cut things with it. we cut paper with it what is this it's a scissor we can write a scissor okay yes a tiger very good shiva very good shiva scissor shabash anything else you are remembering with where we can put vowel what is this children what is this what is this where i am writing what is this this is not a paper board yes very good it is a board a board shabash very good children 
boy. Very good. Now let's see some more examples. And one more thing, a chalk. Yes. Now listen, if I'll say you that I'm going to a mall. Here I said I'm going to a mall. But if I give me give that name of the mall, I am going to the mall Viviana. I'm going to the Viviana Mall. Here I gave the name of that mall. That is why I used the. Okay. When we use any particular thing, any particular place, then we use the. Otherwise, it is a in front of vowel. Very good, Shivani. I think the concept is clear to you. Very good. Come on, give me some examples where we use a and just change the sentence and make it an or the. A book is kept on a table. A book. It could be any book kept on any table. But if I said the grammar book or the Ramayana or if I give the name of book, it is kept on a table. Then the is specifying this book. Okay. Now you all give me an example where we use both the things A and the. Yes, a cat is under the table. That means a cat is hiding this table, under this table. You're pointing out towards a specific table. The cat is under the table. Very good. Where is the market? Asking question about a particular market. Where is the market? Good. Yes, children. Oh, come on, say a few more sentences. Here, a cat is eating a fish. That means a cat is eating a fish. And now give some more example where we use consonant with an. Just now we saw an honest boy. Yes, very good. We use an R, H O U R. See here, I'm writing it here. Here it is H O U. R. It begins with H, but it is pronunciation O. Yeah, H is silent. Where H becomes silent, we use an and R. Okay. Understood? Very good, children. And R. And honorable. It is not honorable, it is honorable. So we have written and. Okay. Give us some more such examples. Achai, now you're giving example of an. Very good. An orange is yummy. A lion is eating. Okay. Very good. Uh, 
a little goat fine good a good helper a boy the boy is playing no a boy is playing if you are giving the name then say the for example we say the ram and sita we are here i have used the because i have given a name the ram and the sita an umbrella yes a good help very good g is a consonant so we used a oh. a man is a very kind and generous very good yes now here the man is pilot we are talking about a particular man that is pilot the pilot okay so children do your homework carefully and try to remain in home only okay still the pandemic situation has not gone so take care of your health stay home stay healthy stay safe okay so then bye everyone a boy very good a boy very nice good children and complete your assignment in your notebook okay okay i use take care beta yes okay ali bye you have to pay attention towards the lecture always children very good. bye teachers bye everyone take care bye 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 Yes, friend. Bye, bye.